Good evening everyone and welcome to the first ever Virtual Albas, the awards that recognise and celebrate learners in the land-based and aquaculture sector. Tonight, whilst acknowledging that bosses and tutors are important, it is all about you, because you are the talented learners and new entrants to one of Scotland's most important sectors, one which has been recognised as key during the ongoing pandemic. It has been a bit of a year, hasn't it? Covid has impacted on us all in one way or another and my heart goes out to anyone for whom life has been irrevocably changed by the virus. This evening though, we want to focus on the future by recognising the work of some of our key workers and learners. Although not everyone will collect an award tonight, I want to assure all our finalists that this evening you are all stars. We received some fantastic nominations and so you should all be very proud of your achievements. As a wee thank you, our finalists should have all received a complimentary Alba's box, which you can now officially tuck into. If you already have, well, we won't judge. I hope you enjoy the contents and that it helps to make tonight special, even if you haven't quite made it out of the house. Now, to officially welcome you to the Albas, we have a very special message for our finalists from the Cabinet Secretary for Finance, Kate Forbes. 2020 is a year none of us will forget. Almost every part of our lives has been affected and it's meant big changes for all of us. And yet tonight's event is a brilliant example of how people have continued to develop their skills and supported one another through these challenging times. Your stories of hard work, perseverance and determination are inspirational. Tonight's event is an opportunity to celebrate your successes, whether you're a learner, an employer, a training provider, a parent, a carer, a teacher or a lecturer. I'm only sorry that this celebration is taking place virtually and that it's not possible for us all to be together. But that shouldn't prevent us celebrating in style, celebrating all your wonderful achievements we know that people are key to driving forward our rural communities, making them sustainable and inclusive places to live, work and thrive. As a government, we recognise the importance of skills as Scotland's economy recovers from the pandemic. At the heart of that recovery is our commitment to new, good, green jobs and making sure that everyone in Scotland has the opportunity to benefit from the investments we're making in infrastructure, in jobs and in skills. I'd like to thank Lantra for all of their work in the land-based and aquaculture sectors to support you with the skills you need, whether you're just starting out or looking to change careers. I know the importance of the work you're doing, from growing up in Dingwall and being constituency MSP for the constituency of Sky, Lochaber and Badenoch. And so it gives me great pleasure to be here with you all to announce the winner of the second Anna Murray Award. Anna was a colleague who really understood how important partnerships are to success. She worked in the Aquaculture and Rural Economy Directorate of the Scottish Government and despite the demands of the role she was always positive and full of energy. For those of you who had the pleasure of meeting Anna you'll know she always had an amazing smile on her face. She was a woman who believed that when people work together, anything is possible. She was an inspiration. Hence, with the support of her family and her friends in government, we dedicated this award for partnership working to her memory. And the winner of the Anna Murray Award is... I've got two gold envelopes. The winner is Growing Rural Talent in the South of Scotland. Congratulations to all of those involved in the Growing Rural Talent Project, a complicated but effective partnership involving six different organisations who plan to pass the prize money back to their learners in the form of awards and prizes. An Alapas within an Alapas, if you like. To all of you, I wish you every success for 2021 in your chosen career. Many congratulations to all the winners and nominees for this year's awards. I hope everyone enjoys the ceremony and sharing in the personal and collective triumphs of those that have taken part. Congratulations to Growing Rural Talent and our thanks to the Cabinet Secretary for officially opening the awards. Isn't that a brilliant message for us all this evening? 
Now, I was expecting my co-host to be joining me at this point, but he seems to be experiencing some technical challenges. Hey, you're my favourite, aren't you? You're my favourite sheep, aren't you? Hey, you're going to have lots of lambs for me. Hey, mm -hmm. you alright? Hey, you're my favourite. Of all the sheep, you're my favourite. Am I your favourite? There we go. Good girl. Uh, I was just, uh, hi Liz, I was just checking our tag number, five, four, oh that's fine, right, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> doesn't, uh, aye, I'll phone you back, bye, bye. Sorry about that, but let's continue with the awards. The next category is the Tam Todd Trophy for Outstanding Young Learner. In association with Countryside Learning Scotland, this award commemorates the late Tam Todd a gamekeeper, gilly, and lifelong friend of the countryside. And it is for an outstanding young learner. The winner of the Tam Todd Trophy is Niall Proven. Well done, Niall. Your love for the countryside and helping to restore and conserve it was clear in your nomination. Congratulations. Now, on to the Jeans Jam Award. This award was donated by training instructor Elspeth Watson in memory of her friend Jean Costello and recognises the person judged to have been the most inspiring mentor. And the winner of the Jean Jams, <laughs> Jeans Jam Award is Julie McCrory from Ross Hall Academy. Julie is a specialist teacher in the Academy's Visual Impairment Unit and worked on delivering the MPA in Horticulture with Glasgow Clyde College. Her hard work, commitment and creativity in helping her learners share their experiences mean she is a very well-deserved winner. Now, as much as I'm enjoying opening all these envelopes, I'm not going to be announcing all the awards tonight. Our ceremony could not take place without the expertise and hard work put in by our independent judging panel. So let's meet them now. Hello, I'm Keith Patterson. I'm Senior Learning and Development Manager with Forestry and Land Scotland and Chair of the Independent Judging Panel for the ALBAs. I'm involved with the ALBAs because it gives me a great opportunity to meet a real mix of inspiring people from across our sector who are highly motivated and passionate about the industry they work in. Good evening, I'm Jennifer Allison and I work within the HR and Training Department at the Scottish Salmon Company, which is of course within the aquaculture industry. I've been working within learning and development for around 15 years and I believe that ALBAS is a fantastic platform to highlight and celebrate the talented range of people within our industries. As always, I've been truly inspired by the applicants this year and I can't wait to see what the future holds for them. Good evening everyone. My name is Jimmy McLean. I currently run a small holding in the Scottish Borders and have a number of voluntary roles within the rural sector. Before retiring, I was Chairman of Agriculture at the Royal Bank of Scotland. We're fortunate to have such committed, enthusiastic and skilled young people working across our rural sector. And I'm delighted to play a part in judging the best of the best for the Albas. Hi, I'm Keith Redpath and I'm a farmer from Kelso, a fellow of the Royal Agricultural Societies and former chair of the Caras Scottish panel. I enjoy being involved with the Albers because it's always a delight meeting the next generation of young farmers at the start of their careers. Hi, I'm Rebecca Dawes and I work for Jane Craigie Marketing, specialising in the rural and agricultural sector. I'm also a director and co-founder of the Royal Youth Project. I really enjoy being involved in the Albus because they recognise the incredible range of talented people who live and work in rural Scotland and are a real inspiration to us all. Hello, I'm Scott Mason and I work full time as Stirling Council's Fisheries Manager. I'm currently a judge at the Albus because I'm a previous category winner and I have successfully mentored a number of apprentices to become Albus winners over the years also. I'm also a current industry champion with Land Truck and through my current job role and also my personal life, I have a great understanding of the rural careers that are on offer throughout Scotland. Thank you all. 
Oh, I, I believe that we can now go over to my co-host. I was say uh, sorry, I can't speak to you now, we're just busy feeding the yows here. There we are, there's the girls. I'll phone you back, Liz. Cheers. Or maybe not. Okay, and now back to Scott for the Skills for Work Pupil Award. Thank you, Liz. The runner-up is Martin Colley Stewart. And the winner of the NPA Skills for Work School Pupil is Matthew Houston. Well done, Matthew. We were really impressed with your determination to overcome the challenges that you faced and also the encouragement you showed to your classmates with their IT skills. Your nominator said you were very hardworking, enthusiastic and polite, so very well done. Now over to the Secondary School Awards. In association with RAS, I am delighted to announce the, school, the Secondary Schools Award. Runner-up is Falkirk High School. And the winner is Meldrum Academy. Congratulations to both. Meldrum Academy staff and pupils have worked hard to integrate outdoor learning, fundraising for a polytunnel, growing food that they have turned into jams and chutneys, and running a community cafe where they sell their produce. And now it's the agricultural category in the Alvas. The runner-up in agriculture for our Learner of the Year awards is Amy Lockhead. And the winner is Shauna Murdy. Well done, Shauna. With support from her employer, Shauna realised what she was capable of, and her professional attitude and dedication has seen her complete an NC and a modern apprenticeship before progressing to an agricultural management course. And now for the animal care category. I'm delighted to announce that the winner is Susan Turner. Congratulations, Susan. You're an absolute inspiration to the other mature learners and have such a positive attitude. You plan ahead, work hard, whilst also supporting your classmates. A big congratulations to your son too, with his inspiration driving you. Well done to you both. We now move on to the Aquaculture Award and the runner up is Guy Tyndall. And the winner is Callum Duggan. Well done, Callum. You're a determined young man with a complete commitment to your industry. We are sure you will achieve your great ambitions through hard work and dedication. Congratulations again. It's the equine industry now. And the runner up is Morag Williams. while this year's equine winner, winner is Kimberly Gallagher. You volunteered at a local farm sanctuary and thanks to your hard work and responsible attitude, you are now acting supervisor caring for farm and small animals. SRUC staff have loved watching your confidence grow through your studies. Your inspiration is your mum, who I am sure is bursting with pride at what you have achieved. Well done. We're now on to the Environmental Conservation Industry Award. And the winner is Niall Proven. Congratulations, Niall. The judges were very impressed with your high quality of work that you showed. 
during your apprenticeship and we also appreciated your enthusiasm and your ability to get on with a wide range of tasks. And now on to horticulture. Our runner-up is Natalia Refet Biganaska. And our horticulture winner this year is Maureen Brown. Congratulations, Mo. You've been a model student and an inspiration to women studying and working in horticulture. You really balance the studies of home whilst also supporting your classmates, and we wish you all the very best for the future. Next is the land-based engineering. The runner-up is Rhys Gordon. And the winner of this year's Land-Based Engineering Albers Award is Robbie Gray. Well done, Robbie. You have a great work ethic, enthusiasm, and excellent communication and teamwork skills, as well as a clear understanding of digital farming and environmental practice. You credit your dad as your inspiration, and it was great to see that you are now helping others in turn. Congratulations, Robbie. Our final industry category is one close to my heart, trees and timber. I'm delighted to announce that the runner-up is David McMillan. And this year's Alba's Trees and Timber winner is Alex Patterson. Congratulations, Alex. Your dedication to forestry has seen you move from Perthshire to Inverness, then Laird, always making the most of every learning opportunity and getting stuck in every task. You've even managed to supervise your own forestry site from start to finish. That's no mean feat, so well done, Alex. Thanks, Keith. Now, we can't run the Albas without the help of some really important supporters. So here are some short messages from them. Hi everyone, on behalf of SAKE, the Sustainable Aquaculture Innovation Centre, I want to say a huge well done to all of you. All the nominees, all the winners, you're all fantastic and we're very proud of you. Whatever sector you happen to be in, especially aquaculture, but all of the sectors, we are absolutely amazing. So enjoy yourselves wherever you happen to be in the country this year and have a great night. I'm Katie Fox, I'm the Skills Planning Manager for Rural Economy at Skills Development Scotland. I just really wanted to say a huge congratulations to you all for reaching the finals of the ALBAs. really is a fantastic achievement and it's wonderful that it happens during Scottish Apprenticeship Week where we have an opportunity to reflect on the value of work-based learning and also all of the positive things that new talent brings into sectors like the land-based industries. I also wanted to say thank you to the employers who have given learners an opportunity to go on this journey, but also thank the learning providers who also make all of this possible. And finally, a huge thank you to Lantra for reminding us to celebrate these successes and giving us an opportunity to do so. So I wish you all the very best, both in the awards, but also in your future careers. And I look forward to hearing more about what you all go on to do. Thank you again. Now, we've had the industry awards, so here's Judge Keith Redpath to take us into the final stages of ALBA's 2021. I am delighted to introduce the Council of Awards for the Royal Agricultural Societies, or CARIS Awards, which were established by the Scottish Panel of CARIS to recognise distinguished achievement in agriculture and related land-based industries. Together we work to ensure that this sector continues to provide exciting careers for our next generation and attracts ambitious 
and enthusiastic young people. The winners of this year's Caris Awards are Callum Duggan, Ian Armstrong and Lucy Phillip. Well done all. Now here's Jennifer with the Higher Education category. And the winner of the Higher Education Award at SCQF Level 7 to 8 is Lucy Phillip. Well done, Lucy. We were very impressed with your dedication and enthusiasm, always being the first to volunteer and now sharing your ex expertise in horse breeding with new students. SRUC are very proud of what you've achieved. And now we move on to the Higher Education Award at SCQF Level 10. And the winner is Ian Armstrong. Congratulations, Ian. You achieved high academic grades and were consistently placed as top student for your year group at SRUC's Aberdeen campus. You also apply your business management studies to real life situations and challenges you face on your family farm. Thank you, Jennifer, and congratulations to both Lucy and Ian. Now, I'd like to hand over to Keith Patterson to announce the award for Modern Apprentice of the Year. And the winner of the ALBA's Modern Apprentice of the Year is... Niall Proven. Well done, Niall. It is now my absolute pleasure to announce the next award for overall runner-up. And the overall runner-up winner for Alda's 21 is Callum Duggan. Congratulations, Callum. Now, for the overall winner. The overall winner of the Alba's for 2021 is, like the envelope, Niall Proven. Congratulations, Niall. I think there's going to be a pretty big box of awards coming your way soon. Now, as that was our last award of the evening, I just want to take a moment to pass on my congratulations to everyone who was nominated. Even if you didn't get to be a finalist tonight, I am sure you will all be winners in future. I would also like to reassure our finalists that as you take on new roles and responsibilities in your career, there will continue to be a wealth of organisations out there for you, offering support and ensuring that the path ahead is clear, no matter what route you take. You'll see in the programme that was in your goodie box, a list of the key supporters for our ALBAs. But they're also your supporters, with people and resources to help you grow and develop in your careers. Please do look them up after the awards they all help to support our work, which in turn helps us to support you. So thank you again to all of our sponsors. Thank you also to Cabinet Secretary for Finance, Kate Forbes, and to the Directorate for Agriculture and the Rural Economy, the Fair Work, Employability and Skills Directorate, and to Cabinet Secretary for the Rural Economy and Tourism, Fergus Ewing, for supporting our work in Scotland. I would also like to thank Keith Patterson and his team of independent judges who commit an enormous amount of unpaid time to reviewing the nominations and interviewing the shortlisted candidates. This simply would not happen without their help. Most of all, I am just so proud of my Scotland team for planning and delivering this event and coping so well during the pandemic. Annabelle, Jenny, Jim, Jackie, Kelly, Kevin, Lorna and Sheena. Well done. This time last year, the Albas were very different and I'm delighted we've still been able to honour Scotland's top learners in 2021. And finally, whilst being a finalist in the Albas is something that you can put on your CV right now, please remember that you also have the option of working with us longer term by becoming one of our industry champions. We'll be in touch with more details shortly, but for now, congratulations again. Thank you for joining us and enjoy the rest of your evening. Good night. Plus, plus. I.
that's it Liz, you're getting us now, um, thanks for getting in touch, I just want to say from Floss and me, congratulations again to everyone, all the winners and all our industry ambassadors are doing a great job again, congratulations you're superstars, hopefully next year we'll see you all in person and get a beer with you. From Floss and me, all the best. Cheers!